How's it guys? Welcome back to another episode of Stalkcraft X Walkthrough. In the last episode, we got rid of a, a traitor who was selling out our fellow stalkers. And we moved here to the roadside. And we are now at the stalker base called Garages. Uh, we're currently still a newbie. Which means we can't access any of the services. Because they don't just give it to anyone. So we are going to have to prove to everyone here that we are a valuable asset as it were so let's let's begin by doing some story missions uh, th those are the best way to gain a uh, reputation for new locations so let's just check our map real quick okay one of them one of our objectives is to find cobbler and it it has a, a search area. So I'm assuming we need to find them somewhere inside this building. So let's go and have a look if we can find them. Uh, that's Chorbo, he's not Cobbler. Jimrek. There's Cobbler. Uh, with someone lying on his lap, which is a bit cozy. Чебришолы, Некоторые из них носят медальоны со змеями, жути наводят. Но и у них не все так гладко. Вроде бы кого-то из их высокопоставленных шишек даже завалили неподалеку отсюда. Я? Блаженный? Да с чего ты это взял? Ты что, работаешь на этих... и за людьми охотишься, да? О, кто пожаловал? Здорово! Если ты хочешь помочь, принеси-ка лучше выпить. Никакой другой помощи мне ни от кого не надо. И ни в чем признаваться я не собираюсь, потому что... Okay, so he asked for a drink. Uh, and he says he's not gonna confess. So let her, let's give him what he wants. And actually, before we continue, I want to show you guys something. I've probably showed you this before. If you press escape, you click your name. Click activate promo code and every week uh, the devs give a new promo code. This week is summer 24 week 6 Y-U-E-R-S. Click activate and it gives you a bunch of goodies. Uh, this is really nice. Advanced spare parts and tools. It's a great for upgrading your gear. Uh, this is for charging your anomalies and things. Uh, anomalies. Uh, charging your artifacts. And of course these are boosts. This is a catalyst. I'm not entirely sure what this is. Oh, there. Increases an artifact's potential when charging an laboratory. Well, that's pretty self explanatory. Some camouflage. And some tactical reserve crates. These are quite nice. Can get some decent stuff out of them. So let's confirm. Go to our storage. Let's grab our crates and let's open them. See what we get. Champagne. Bonds tools, very nice. Armor components. Macmillan part, very nice. Basic parts, yeah. It's always other parts or camouflages. Components. More parts. Probably more parts, yeah. Watch out. 
Erika. Um, very basic paint. Yeah. The paint. Another paint. It's a very cool one. Tools, very nice. I'll never complain about tools. Another camera. Alright, let's move all the stuff over. Don't need it in our inventory. I'll keep these. You can use them. Alright, let's buy some vodka. Go back to talk to this guy, Cobblas. Navate, a better op. At the cover, you need cashos. Da, women at Dushe. What that of a Nihuatal Cheslova Nihuatal. Ya, hey, you know, shit me. Da, the Calibalsia, the Scaritz, a toot. Честно скажу, да. Санитары сплошь и рядом всех блаженных прессуют. За что? За то... Так вот оно. И тут по мою душу, значит, чертя. Протрезвею и на дно. Залягу в смысле. Что это? Они скидывают нас сам. Нас little reward there. Given us a weapon charm and some ammo. So let's wait to go. There is the weapon charm. Just drag that on. Love it. Very cool. It's a, a little artifact. <laughs> As a little character to our gun. Actually, talking about adding character to our gun, I want to see some of these weapon cam. Let's take that as well, we'll see how that looks. That looks, that looks. Let's see if we can make our stuff look a little bit better. The modification, paint. That doesn't look half bad. Pick one of the others. Bit too colorful for my taste. Looks, looks cool though. That one, yeah, it's a bit basic. Let's go for this one. I like this. Let's paint. There we go. Uh, our weapon is painted. Let's check our armor. Oh gosh. <laughs> that is really bright. <laughs> yeah, I won't be doing that. Put that stuff back. Resort things. I don't need that ammo. I need that. Alright, one part is done. Let's just see. Now we gotta go meet Jaundice's assistant. We are. Ну наконец-то кто-то объявился. Ты и есть то самое обещанное подкрепление. Ага, прекрасно. Вот только. Бандиты, чтобы их всех скрючило и вздрючило, поймали нашего козлика и взяли его в плен. Они тут за Зачем пасовать, когда можно перетасовать? Тебя же желтуха ко мне отправил, чтобы проверить тебя. Вот и тест на профпригодность. Разберись с аванпостом бандитов, доберись до дыракола и прикончи его. Отрежь его ухо и принеси мне в качестве доказательства. Не знаю. Эту фишку не я придумал. Наверное, чтобы эти придурки нас боялись и знали, что пощады им лучше не Вот и хорошо. Alright, so he wants us to find hole punches who has been captured by a bunch of bandits. And cut off his ear, which is a little bit savage. A little bit of a warning here. There's a railroad track there. You can see it here on the map. It's this entire area that runs along the center here. Stay away from this because 
it's heavily irradiated. And your early armor won't protect you from it. It's right there. Always come around along the edges. There's three points you can actually go through. There's one here, one here, one, uh, there's one somewhere in the middle here, and there's one here. Uh, this is, this is a heavy PvP zone here. So, unless you want PvP, don't go here. Uh, we are just beyond the, the railroad tracks. There's a little house on the bottom here where a hole punch is supposed to be. So we are going to take out the bandits that are here. Let's find some good cover. difficult and stuff actually let's drink this it'll buff us up a little bit vision to come back up oh, there's always one around the corner all right you're supposed to go inside the house Our friend Hole Punch. О боже, спасибо тебе, парень. Ты не представляешь, что я пережил за последние. Что ты имеешь в виду? Ты же не. Зачем ты спасал меня? Что за дурдом? Ты убил всех бандитов, чтобы вытащить меня из заложников, и только ради того, чтобы после этого лично расправиться со мной? Нет, я не верю. Приди в себя. Ты же сам понимаешь, что это все неправильно. Я что, похож на какого-то прокаженного? Думаю, у меня нет другого выхода. Пока мне не удастся убедить этих чокнутых в том, что я мертв, покоя мне не будет. Мне что-то дурно. Я... Надо найти убежище. Making hearing jokes about a guy just cut off his ear. <laughs> That's pretty brutal. Right, we are back and we are supposed to present our cut off ear as evidence. I can't imagine cutting off my own ear. Must be terribly painful. Right. Let's talk to this guy. What's with our friend? Да, это определенно у нашего пирога. Что ж, ты свою задачу выполнил. И вот еще, тут для тебя небольшая награда. Желтуха велел вручить тебе, если ты выживешь. Ну и раз ты здесь. Yeah, two thousand rubles. Even the name of the quest, ears to the ground. That is so bad. Похоже, твой испытательный срок подошел к концу. Я скинул тебе на ПДА координаты нашей базы на Кордоне. Тащи сюда свою задницу. Приходи один. Тебе пора стать настоящим санитаром. Well, they want to make me an orderly, apparently. So... Do I have anything to vendor? Let's actually put that away. I don't know why I still have that on me. Put that away as well. Alright, do I have enough ammo and medication? Yes, yes. Do that. I actually want to pick up another one of these. It's actually that's freaking crazy how quickly you can go through ammo. Nope, not expanding ammo. One more ammo. Alright, that's sorted. 
Now we're supposed to meet Jaundice somewhere in the roadside. Where is he exactly? Did he say he was in the right. Where did he say he is? Let's find out. Uh, meet with Jaundice. Uh, I sent the coordinates of our base at the roadside to your PDA. Alright, so they have a base here. Share map. It's inside the railway tunnel. It's not too far away. Let's go have a look. Uh, we are here at the railway tunnel. We're supposed to go inside. This place isn't ominous at all. Little hole in the ground. <gasps> Bad guys everywhere. Oh, orderlies are a lot bigger. Grab some ammo while I'm here. Orderlies are a lot bigger than they than you would think. There's so many of them. Okay. This place is a bit confusing. I hope I don't get lost. I don't think I was supposed to go this way, but... Whatever works. Nope, not this way. This is so confusing. Not even sure where I'm supposed to be going. Promising. Right, up we go. There's an arrow. Up in here already. Yeah, up in here already. Then I jump down. I think I'm supposed to go here. I am going back the way I think, but I'm, I'm not sure which is the correct way to go. Any way to go there? Ah, I seem to be in the right place now. That was nice and confusing. Here's Jaundice. Мои поздравления. Похоже на то, что ты почти готов стать одним из нас. О, не волнуйся. Больше никакой беготни. Твоя последняя цель прямо здесь. Мы схватили одного блаженного ублюдка, который шпионил за нами. Alright, they want me to execute someone. That sounds fun. Ты? Linda. Убить меня, да? Ожидай. Слушай, я понимаю, что мы в меньшинстве, но... Дружище, я не хочу умирать. Если бы ты был на моем месте, я бы попытался. Что-нибудь бы придумал. Погнали, Вита.
All the documents. Contact information on the uh, actions of the orderlies in the Ba and the Wild Territories. Awesome. Ah. Yeah, I don't care if the, the blessed are actually dangerous, but just randomly executing people because they possibly blessed, yeah, that doesn't seem right to me. Alright, he'll sort himself out and I'll get a bite my way out of this place. Shouldn't be too difficult. There's only like what, 300 people down here? <laughs> Plenty of ammo. Recoil is quite difficult to control on this weapon. Which is kind of weird, it's an AK-74. Guys that would just run at you and try and stab you, I mean, that doesn't seem very smart. <laughs> right. I would never try and just run and stab some guy who has a, an AK. That's crazy. You all baddies? Always. Bit of lag there. That will reduce the chance of bleeding. And if I do bleed, uh, I'm going to kill the Now so many people down here, it's crazy. Need to get the hell out of here.
that was that was going well. Uh, let's head back to the base. What's the show? Where is he? He's all the way back in the swamps. That is a long run. And I have no ammo. Alright. I'm gonna run back to the swamps and I will see you guys there. Interrupted by an eruption notice. So now we gotta find us a place to hide. Should I go there or there? Let's go there to show you guys what it looks like. Sometimes you just you're just far away from base, and there's nothing you can do about it. You're just gonna have to find a place to to lay low during an eruption, because you can't be outside. You'll die. I feel like he's talking to me. He was taking my time leaving. How was that? So there are shelters dotted around here and there. I think somebody else is already here, so we just keep our eyes open. See anyone? Grab a bit of loot. Well, that's not something like that. More grenades. Right, so we just have to wet it up and I'll see you guys when it's done. So I've survived the eruption. Just what I want thing to remember is that anybody can come into these places, bandit, stalker, whatever, and they are not safe. It's not a safe zone. So be careful if you take shelter in one of these just little holes in the ground. Could be a hostile player in there. So anyway, I'm gonna continue my journey to the swamps and I will see you guys when I'm there. Alright, we have made it to the swamps and to the area where uh, Shaman wanted us to meet him. So let's pop on in and see what he wants. Какие новости ты принес, Искатель? Удалось узнать что-нибудь о планах санитаров? Хм, судя по этим записям, у санитаров произойдет какая-то важная встреча. Они что-то готовят в баре и на диких территориях. Искатель! Искатель! Иска! Иск! Это слишком опасно! Ценой этого научного эксперимента может стать катастрофа! Любой грандиозный прорыв сопряжен с риском, но мы не имеем права на трусость. Мы стоим перед вратами в рай. А вы боитесь повернуть ключ в замочной скважине? У нас не хватает знаний. У нас нет понимания, как работает этот артефакт. Ваш замысел... Не вам судить мой замысел. Без моей поддержки вас, господа, здесь и вовсе бы не было. Я вполне компетентен в оценке собственных способностей. 
и не прошу злоупотреблять этой силой. Мы лишь защитим наши сокровища. Если верить их записям, он поможет нам в этом. Его сила велика, но мы сможем ее контролировать. Он будет для нас не мечом, но щитом. Без рассудства. Мы держим в руках огонь. Верно. Это огонь, что будет согревать нас и сжигать наших врагов. Warmed by a strange feeling that your brain is being struck by multiple small electric shocks. Your temples, forehead, and the back of your head become terribly itchy. You shake your head to finally come to your senses. Alright, that's given us a, a whole bunch of reputation. So we'll finally be able to use all the services in garage. So let's see what um, Shaman has to say after that. Ты пришел в себя, наконец-то. У тебя было видение? Наиблагоприятнейший знак. Но разве это не доказательство, что первопроходцы в... Мы знаем, что это источник великой силы. Голубой шар приходит в видениях ко всем блаженным, но слухи о нем ходят уже очень давно. Кто... Не совсем. Голубой шар действительно имеет прочную связь с зоной, но не такую, какой она описана в легендах. Не странно ли, что... Это одна из многих загадок, что нам предстоит разгадать. Так или иначе, Шар видит все блаженные. Тогда лучше загляни в себя. Ведь это голубой шар взывает к тебе. Значит, все, что тебе нужно, внимательно слушать. Не сомневаюсь, это не последнее видение, что посетит тебя. Через них ты можешь познать природу Шара. Я давно занимаюсь этим вопросом. И кажется, у нас есть одна очень интересная наводка. Среди блаженных есть те, что получили особый дар даже... Про Оракула и его умения ходят немало слухов. Я слышал даже, что ему приписывают телепатию. Полагаю, часть всех этих сплетен преувеличена, но... Он путешествует в боевом отряде некоего кондора. Насколько мне известно, они часто останавливаются на свалке техники у диггеров. Я знаю предводителя диггеров, старьевщика. Если ты отправишься к ним... На свалке техники тебе не продержаться без надежного костюма с защитой от радиационного заражения. Советую обзавестись у местного торговца, скажем, Авророй Б. Я должен сплотить наших братьев блаженных и найти способ противостоять разрастающемуся влиянию санитаров. Это тяжелая работа, которая отнимет у меня много времени. Так что сейчас все мои надежды... Ты на верной дороге, Искатель. Yep. All right, so we have a new goal. Uh, we need to buy a more advanced suit so that we can go to uh, the scrapyard and we're going to have to speak to the junk man. That's going to be interesting. So let's head on back to the right side and uh, buy us a, a new combat suit. I'll see you guys there. And so we are back. I managed to accumulate some bottom materials along the way. Let's just check if it is actually enough. Might not be. Alright. So we are looking for the Aurora B. Which is not combo combat. That's a science armor. So let's have a look. I, I need a considerable amount more. Do I have any on my storage? No. All right, so let's head out and, well, first I'm going to sell some things, but I'll head out and I'll head out and get some more stinky root by taking on mutant things. 
know, I will let you know, guys know when I'm done. We are back. Uh, should have enough now. Do indeed. There we go. We have complete protective suit. Let's put that on. Looks quite nice. Let's go buy another armor plate. And we're gonna put that in our armor. We are gonna stash this armor. And so now we should be well, well enough equipped to go and speak to the junk man. There's like a camp entrance. There are two entrances. That's interesting. Ah, so uh, we will go do that in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, drop a like, subscribe for more content. Alright, cheers guys. Take care.